Hello, this is Sigmund Bloom here with your Week 10 Waiver Wire Quick Hitter. Uh, quarterback, uh, it's time to check on Deshaun Watson. He's not going to be back until Week 13. He's got a lot of outdoor games. We'll see how he meshes with his new team. Offense has been playing pretty well lately. Uh, Russell Wilson coming out of a bye will be the next pickup. That offense is going to get better. He's healthy now. Jimmy Garoppolo has a lot more reason to pass with Christian McCaffrey. He's in a good offense. Uh, we'll see if the defense gets back to early season form, but they are going to possibly be in some high scoring games in the second half of the year after that you look at jared goff through two short touchdowns jameson williams should be joining this offense eventually and we know with their defense save for when they get a bunch of interceptions at the goal line they'll be in some high scoring games trevor lawrence settled down and had a better game there's a few matchups you might like there if you need someone for just this week look at jacoby Brissett going up against miami a lot of high scoring games with miami coming up in the second half of the year or maybe even Derek Carr, uh, who's going to face an Indianapolis team in disarray. Running backs, the top pickup would be Jeff Wilson. He had more snaps than Raheem Mostert. He was more effective than Raheem Mostert. We know Raheem Mostert's injury history. Wilson's in a good offense, and he knows the offense. James Robinson would be next. Uh, it looks like the Jets are going to smartly go through their backfield, let their defense and smart, safe offense win the day for this team that may be on their way to the playoffs. Elijah Mitchell is a priority pickup because he's the backup to Christian McCaffrey. And if McCaffrey goes down, which has happened the last two years, Mitchell could be a league winner. Next tier would include guys like Daryl Henderson, who is at least a flex play as the best running back on the Rams. Not that that's worth that much this year. Naeem Hines didn't do much in his first week with the Bills, but obviously they have envisioned a running back filling this role. Offense is struggling. We'll see about Josh Allen's elbow, but Naeem Hines could be just the tonic that they need. Next year down, we're looking at injury, upside, backups. Tyler Algier, who looked pretty good. Cordero Patterson's going to do more going forward, but we know the Falcons can run the ball, and he's the number two back. Dontrell Hilliard, Derrick Henry was on the injury report with a foot issue. He was fine, was good, but there's a long way to go, and Hilliard has had a lot of explosive plays this year. Alexander Madison, of course, you know, behind Dalvin Cook. That's always one of the more valuable backups to hold as we get through the injury situations and the bye week gauntlet. Uh, after that, a few minor pickups. Deion Jackson, he's hurt. When is Jonathan Taylor coming back? Who's going to play quarterback? Is this team a joke now, or at least is Jim say a joke? Uh, that doesn't belong in the waiver wire show, but... Jalen Warren does. He's going to get more work coming out of the bye. The Steelers' offense, not exactly promising, but Warren's back. Value's going up. He should be on a roster in deeper leagues. The wide receiver George Pickens will be the top pickup if he was dropped during his bye. Chase Claypool is with the Bears now. Enough targets will be there for Pickens to be worth a play as a wide receiver. Three flex. Josh Palmer, as long as Keenan Allen and Mike uh, Williams are out, should be in your lineup. Probably should apply this week against San Francisco. McCole Hardman continues to be involved at the goal line. He may not be part of an offense that gets that many, what was it, 68 pass attempts, but Hardman is still a wide receiver, three flex, what the heck flex type going forward. Donovan Peoples-Jones, been a pretty consistent play. Remember, Sean Watson is going to join the team for week 13, and for this week against Miami, you can expect Peoples-Jones to be a good wide receiver, three flex play. Darius Toney, a speculative pickup, and Samari Torre, Rounding out the wide receivers with all the injuries for the Packers, Torrey's been getting more involved as a downfield target at tight end. Your top pickup, if he was dropped during his bye injury, David Njoku. Another bye week pickup, Greg Dulcich. These guys are easy slam dunk pickups so you can play for the rest of the year. If not, you're looking for a temporary pickup. Noah Fant had a big game against Arizona. Seattle doesn't get Arizona this week. That'd be the Rams. Don't pick up Tyler Higby. Uh, Seattle plays Tampa Bay this week. And on that Tampa Bay side, Kate Otten, if Cameron Bray is still out, could be a pickup for you. We've got all the pickups you need, all the help you need always. We appreciate being part of your journey. Football guys. 